got a good question from our buddy Lee Sin who says that he is struggling with a kind of a unique problem, one that most people don't have. So most people's problem is they often don't have enough training time or they feel like they wish they could train more, right? Lee's having the opposite problem. So he says that what happened was he started training originally three days a week and now he's up to six days a week. He said that he had the opportunity to bump it up so he's training six days a week. What he's finding though is he says that he rolled better when he was down at three days a week. He says when he got more rest, he rolled better. Now obviously saying that, it's like, well duh, right? Like, of course, he felt better with, with more rest. But he's wondering if he should continue to maintain the six days a week schedule or if he should revert back down to the three days a week. So Lee, thanks, first off, thanks for the question, dude. And let me start by asking you and anybody else that might be asking this question, why do you feel like you need to train six days a week? Is there a reason for it, right? Are you just doing it because you feel like you need to train more? Because don't, you don't wanna fall into that trap, right? Like where people, you just think that you need to train more and more and more and then eventually you, realize, you find out you're training every day of the week, which is what I did back in 2010. When I first came into this position where I was able to train full time with no other job or anything else going on, I was training inc just way too much. Because my thinking was, I thought that if I doubled my training, right, that I would get two times as good, right? That was kind of the idea. If I increased my training volume this much, then my skill acquisition, how much, how much better I got would go up this much. But what I found was, is because all I was doing was a lot of times was rolling most of the time, my training volume, I more than doubled it. In some cases, I was training like twice. In some weeks would be two times a day, Monday through Friday, along with some lifting uh, squeezed in there. And then on Saturday, Sunday, I would train once a day. So seven days a week. And what I found was is my training volume more than doubled and my skill went up only marginally, right? It didn't, it didn't climb at the same rate. And a lot of this was because of focus. And this is what I'm gonna share with you today. So forget about training more all the time. More can be better, it can be. But in your case where you have the ability to train a lot, you need to structure it a bit. You need to put some focus on it because most people come to the gym, they just show up. Right, like you'll, you'll probably go through today, you'll be on Facebook or Instagram or whatever, and you'll see all these cool techniques, but then you don't do anything with them. You might have DVDs and you don't do anything with them. You might go to class and you might learn some cool techniques, and then you might not do anything with it. So if you're gonna maintain this high training volume, first off, I would tell you to drop it down a little bit. I would say it, no more than five days a week. And even then that can be kind of high for some people. And you might want to go back down to your three days a week, inch it up to four, and then try five, see how that feels, and then give yourself two really nice rest days. You know, and if, you, if you're a little neurotic and you can't stop working out all the time, then go for a walk or a hike or something that just relaxes you. But if you're going to try to maintain the six days a week training schedule, then you have to be smart about it, okay? Because again, I say this all the time to people, your body's a finite resource, and once it's used up, that's it, dude. So if you just roll hard every single day, I guarantee you at some point you're gonna injure yourself and you're gonna get stuff jacked up, you're gonna get injuries. Cause I know I've done it, I've done it before, I've been there, I've injured myself plenty of times because I was training entirely too much. So you have to structure it. Now, on a day you might, you might roll hard, let's say you roll hard on Monday. You could probably roll again on Tuesday or you might take Tuesday as an as a easy day. If you roll two hard days in a row, I would you need to take that next day off. Or if you don't want to take it off completely, what you could do is do technique work. So I know that you don't have as much control as I do for the training because again, you're at the whim of your coach. But go to your coach and tell them, like, let's say you tr let's say you rolled hard Monday and Tuesday, and now it's Wednesday. Go to your coach and say, hey, coach, um, I, you know the techniques that you showed tonight. What I was going to do is while everybody else is rolling, me and my partner that we're drilling, we're gonna go over here on the corner of the mat and we're just going to drill the techniques that you showed us tonight and I'm just gonna to try to get like 100 or 200 reps of it and that's it for me. I just wanna to try to make sure I rest up because I feel pretty you know, wore out from the other two days. I guarantee you more than likely your coaches be pretty receptive to that. So talk to him, say, hey listen, can I work on the techniques that you showed me? Because I guarantee your coaches in your gym are showing you some good stuff, don't let that go to waste. Use it and you can knock out hundreds of reps, and then I come in the next day, right? So that was Wednesday, Thursday rolls around, I guarantee you, you will feel more well rested for that rolling session. And likewise, you will find that when you really give yourself some dedicated focus to your techniques and just getting reps in, you'll start catching those techniques when you're rolling. You'll start getting to this point where with those techniques that you're just repping out all the time, you'll start catching them and you won't even think about it. It'll be like after the fact you're catching them, right? You, you, you'll just be in the movement, boom, you're, you're hitting an arm bar 
And then by the time it's almost finished, you're realizing, oh, I went for an armbar, cool. Instead of having to consciously think about it when it happens. So it's a win-win. You're gonna get better with your technique and you are not going to beat yourself up and you'll be able to get more out of your rolling. Because rolling, again, it's, it's a lot of fun, but think of it like, like as a sprint, right? If you went outside and you just did a, like a 100 yard sprint, and then you waited like two seconds and then didn't try to do another one. That second one's gonna be pretty, right? You're gonna be pretty tired from the first one. Now, if you do the 100 yard sprint, give yourself a little bit of rest, give yourself an adequate amount of time to kind of breathe, get your, your legs back, and then run again, that next sprint's gonna be so much better, right? So the same things with your rolling. You just need to have some breaks in there and some rest in there because you're gonna get more out of the rolling if you are physically and mentally fresh. So, again, I would tell you, Lee, Take the volume down a little bit. Don't do so much. But if you are insistent upon doing this six days a week stuff, then be smart about your training and stagger it up back and forth. Do not simply just go hard every single day because eventually something's gonna hit. You're, you're like I was in 2010. Man, when I would train that much, I would get really lethargic and almost like depressed some days. Right, and likewise, you need to listen to your body. So even if you've got this this whole thing structured out, where you're going to take this as a rest day, this as a rest day, whatever, and this is a hard day, if you feel really lethargic during a day, or you feel really wore out, just take that day off, or take it as an easy day. Be smart about it. So this is a little bit of a long video, but Lee, I hope it helps you, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys next time.